first episode, I had to blur a lot of stuff because, like I said, there was stuff that I couldn't show. But I'm hopeful that won't be the case in this episode. But without further ado, let's get into it. I don't know where we'll start from. I can't remember. I think we just talked to that rose girl that said my daughter was dead. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Oh yeah, we're moving right Do here. me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear friend. Oh god. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue, if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D &D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Yeah, let's do this real quick. Where's the previous murder chat on this board? Did I just select the right one? There they are, Jesus. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Thanks, Saga. Oh. My bad. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Hmm. 
Thanks, Saga. Okay, that doesn't go there. What's this one? No. Hmm. That's all the clues I have, right? The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Okay, set all my clues. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I was in my Hey, what do you know about that inception. waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. She's probably a cult member. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Okay, let's take a look at our patient. Well, I'm about to blur this too. Because... I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? I what other know. clues? Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Where's the yellow one? Time to see what Nightingale's body can I tell us. Zoom out like that. It makes it so much fucking easier. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? And I'm gonna wear gloves.
same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Might hurt them. Made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. to be in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get back. Oh, I had a flashlight. That didn't work. Cool. I need to get into the light. Now. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Stab him in the fucking brain. Guns out in the hall. Gotta get it back. He just came through the fucking wall. I feel like all this is in my brain. Oh. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? 
We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Yep. I'd say Somehow we need to fucked. make sense of this. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. Okay. Page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. That's crazy, right, Thornton? I can tell Spurt was missing. How could you do that? Mm, they're a fine pair. How you doing? My client has been held here Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. A A Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. They 
care. I feel like this game's gonna get fucking weird. Car is this way. There it is. I see it. Yeah, nobody out here even knows what happened. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold Case Casey. Murder Case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. Uh, to see the clues. To solve the case. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? I got a gun just like my that. experience. They don't mind holds 17. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna ya vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. 
Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can't not right through a garbage can. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Hulla, Karjalan Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Okay, we're done for now. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm, he was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting them? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded the rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake, in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. <laughs> oh. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. I'm gonna get fucking attacked. Tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? Jesus I can feel something. Fucking Christ. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. They better stock up on that shit. Don't turn that motherfucker off. What are you doing? Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Objectives. Oh my God, dude. 
I'll start blasting. Better not come up on me by God. What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. You don't want the smoke, okay? I'm just here to tell you. You do not want the smoke. This is the witch's hut. Oh, shit. I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. Get the lights working and we'll just have what lights. There's not a damn light in here. fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Hold on, I gotta move my camera. Guess it's in the way of important stuff. This fuse is busted. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. That light was not in here before. Another page. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. A smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Yup. Already got the answers to these.
page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Yeah, yeah. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? Just leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? While they played cards in the general store, the witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. I need to check the general store for the heart. Why did it get so fucking dark out Casey! Here? I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get... I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Christ! Jesus fucking... About blasted that motherfucker, dude. Where's the fucking fridge? This piece of shit store. How are you? That deer scared me more than he did. Can I have that? Lakey for look okay at the counter. Secret numbers, secret numbers. Let's try 70, 723 first. Seven. Oh, that's the one that's on it. Try seven. Th no, I just tried seven thirteen. Seven oh five. I'm getting this shotgun. Seven oh five. 
Nope. Seven seventeen. <clears throat> Just want the shotgun. What about these numbers? Two oh two. There's gotta be something else over here that tells me what the fuck it is. Can't just be some of these numbers. Let's try five, five, five. That'd be way too fucking easy, in my opinion. Nope. I don't care how long it takes me, I'm getting that shotgun. think this is relevant. These numbers match the ones on the lotto ticket. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Are you fucking kidding me? I know what it is. change weapons. There we go. Hell yeah, buddy boy. Now where's that fucking fridge? God. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I feel yeah. like I recognize this. Oh, it's gonna be the fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Okay, well. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Where are we going? The witch's ladle? Like Nightingale. Go this way. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weird. Okay, I'm on but it is exciting. Mr. Crow, you could fuck right off. Oh god. Stick. Oh my god, I'm all the way back here. Did I get the fucking heart at least? Okay, yeah. Now I know they're gonna fucking be there. And I am gonna be. No, I'm not gonna use it. I'm, I'm not gonna use it because I don't have enough of bullets. I don't have a lot of bullets. I need to piece these clues together on the case board. Oh, do you now? 
Where's on the heart? Sounds literary, but what does it mean? Found the heart in the fridge, just like the page said I would. I don't know if I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna like that motherfucking ass. Come on, motherfuckers. There you is, you cold motherfuckers. Come on out. Can I search you motherfuckers for ammo? Because I has no fucking ammo. I need some fucking bullets. Shit. Can't talk now. I need some fucking bullets. I could really use some fucking bullets. in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Mom. Logan? Mom, help. Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. So there's cultist members in here, I'm guessing. Would you please help me? What was that? Wait. Please be fucking. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. A nightmare. Okay, ammo. No. I'm so fucking boned. Again. 
He's here. Nightingale. Oh, how the fuck we're supposed to kill him? We ain't got any bullets. Trapped here. Who escaped? Danger. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. Trapped escape. Danger. Fucking ammo. Nightingale's badge. Hell yeah, I must have got some more to fucking defend myself. <sighs> I'm not liking this. <laughs> Nightingale hunted sucker. Come at me, bro! Holy shit! <laughs> Fucking reload! Snapping. No, I'm not. You son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> I hope I still have my shotgun shields. Yes, I do. Okay, let's go. You son of a bitch. Actually, I'm going to leave this video here. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.